so I'm just going to show you what I put in here. I'm going to put some brown sugar. Then I put some regular white sugar. So I do half and half. Or you could use just brown sugar or you could use just white sugar. It doesn't matter. So we're going to turn it up and I'm going to put on the fan and then hopefully you guys can still hear me. Because I want the house to be smoky. So you just gotta let this cook a little bit. The sugar, I didn't put any water or oil, it's just sugar, straight sugar. I turned the heat up a little bit. You just have to stir it a lot or it will burn. It will definitely burn and you don't want it to burn. I have the heat on I would say medium you don't want it too high because it will definitely burn and then if it's too low it will take forever to cook Just stirring the sugar right now. I'll put the sugar to the side because the middle is really, really hot. In the middle, I'm gonna put my. Um, I made. Um, I mean, I crushed garlic, ginger, and shallots. I did about for this big pot. I did about two cloves of garlic, two or three cloves of garlic, four shallots, and for ginger. Um, I did about five or six slices of ginger, but it's up to you. You can't really mess it up. It's up to you how much you put. So we're just letting this sugar cook. It's almost done. You don't want it to stick to the pot and you don't want it to burn. Okay. So it's starting to melt a little bit. I'm just going to put the sugar to the side and keep the middle open for my crushed garlic, ginger, and shallots. I'm going to put it in right now. See? Ginger, garlic, and shallots. So that's going to go in the middle. Let it simmer for a second and then we're gonna start adding in the soy sauces I use four to five different soy sauces and I'll show you guys which one I use Just mix it around with the sugar. Make sure it doesn't burn or stick to the pot. See how the sugar is just starting to get like a like syrup, like caramelized. You want it like that. this before I let it burn because I'm talking too much. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Hold on, how many? I'm just going to add a tiny bit of water. And just let this simmer for a second. I'm gonna start 
start adding the soy sauces. So, this is the first one. Like I said, I don't measure, so you can just kind of see how much I'm putting. And then I'm gonna put some, mind you, the soy sauces I use, you can use different brands. So this is light soy sauce. But you can use any brand. It doesn't have to be this brand. So I'm going to put some of this. I know it smells so good. Put some light soy sauce. Okay. Then we're going to put some sweet soy sauce. And if you don't have sweet soy sauce, it's fine because you already put a lot of sugar. But I just like to add more. There's two different dark soy sauce that I use. So this one's a, it says superior dark soy sauce. This is one of them. This one's my favorite. And then if I don't have that one, I'll just use this. The black soy sauce It's the same brand as the sweet soy sauce, but it's the black soy sauce. It's the one with the orange top. So I'll put a little bit of both. Put a little bit of this one. Put a, oh, sorry. Now I'm putting a little bit of this one. You want it dark, so, but you don't want to overdo it or put too much. Because as the meat cooks for like close to an hour and then overnight, and then when it sits overnight, it'll turn really dark, anyways. It never really looks dark the first night, but the next night it will. So don't worry about that. Okay, so those are all the sauces that, the soy sauces that I put. Okay, let me add a little bit more water again. And we're gonna turn the heat up all the way to high. Okay, so as this is gonna boil, we're gonna put this, which is um, the Chinese Five Spice blend. I use this brand. You can use any brand. If it's Five Spice seasoning, just put it in. I would say estimate, an estimate, I would put like maybe three to four teaspoons. You don't want more than that. Maybe not even that much, maybe three teaspoons. Because if you put too much, it'll be way, it'll be too strong. Be way too strong. Okay, so I have another one. Same thing, same brand. You want it just enough so it has that smell. So, not too much. Then, of course, our best friend, MSG. Don't put too much. That's it. And then I'll probably add a little bit of salt and what else and I'll just put maybe one spoon of this one spoon you don't have to make it my way everyone makes it different this is how I make mine so I used I did one Asian spoon of that maybe I'll do one more so two, okay? Okay, so basically this is it. I'm gonna let it simmer. Well, when it boils in a second, I'll put my meat in, I'll show you guys. Um, when this boils, I'm gonna put my meat in. And then you could cover it or not cover it, it doesn't really matter, but it has, the meat has to cook for about So then I let the meat cook for 45 minutes and then I'll add probably a little bit more water 
so it covers the meat and then I'll add the eggs I'll add water and then the boiled eggs so I boiled about 18 eggs because we eat a lot of eggs when we eat them Kim you can boil as many as you want I'm gonna add water eggs after the meat is cooked add water eggs and then let it simmer for about another 20 to 30 minutes and then it should be done so that's about it guys so and it always tastes better the next day so if you're not in a rush to eat it just make it like the night that you make it eat it the next day but if you want to eat it and you don't mind you don't care you can eat it whenever it's done okay so it's boiling now so I'm gonna put in my um, meat let me show you guys my meat that I got back up the camera a little bit okay so this is the meat that I got so I got so right here is the pork feet right here is just lean pork meat just lean because I can't eat that much pork fat so I put some lean meat and then there's some pork belly right here so there's some fat and there's some meat so it's boiling hard and that's fine just put every all the meat in there don't just pour the whole bowl of meat in there because all this will splash on your face you have to put it one by one so just let the meat cook for about 45 minutes to an hour on medium medium heat and then you add more water and then unpeel your eggs please and then put your eggs in there with the water and then let that simmer for another 20 to half an hour and then it's done guys So I have the heat on high right now and I will turn it down on medium to simmer once it boils. So I'm going to wait till it boils and then I'm going to turn it down to medium but it's on high right now. So I'm just going to add more water. So then afterwards when everything is done, the, the you added the eggs, the eggs cooked, the meats cooked, just taste the broth and see how it tastes. and. Just fix it to how you like it. If you feel like it needs more five spice powder, if you don't really taste it, you can add more of the five spice. If you like it more sweet, just add more sugar or the sweet soy sauce. If it's still bland, then add more of all the different soy sauces. And then, you know, if it's salty, just add a tiny bit more water to dilute it. I hope you guys liked my video. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe.